my God, plan for me. Well, greetings, greetings, greetings. Good morning, KBB. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all still sleeping. Good morning, KBB. Amen, amen. We're glad to thank God for everybody that is tuning in. I know some of y'all are coming in, coming in. We just want to thank God for you for coming in. Just want to greetings and would like to welcome to the Kingdom Experience with our pastor, Dr. Milton E. Wren, Jr., and the fragrance of the house, our own Lady Wren. We have a free rule. Number one, don't build alone. Text someone. Tag someone. And tell them to tune in. Go ahead. Swipe up. And invite. Do it now. Let's communicate. We are in the chat room. And we ready to communicate. With concerning our kingdom nugget. And principles. That will be shared. Number three. Since hard is the new hallelujah. And the thumbs up. And the new amen. Let's practice. Go ahead. Get some hearts, get some thumbs up. As we go into the sanctuary, we believe that everybody deserves at least eight hugs. So let's go in our cyber hug. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our hug. We're gonna scratch our arms out. Scratch it out. Everybody ready? All right, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ho, 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 ho. Ah. All right, all right, all right. The next voice you will be hearing will be our praise and worship. Amen.
Well, greetings. I am excited. Listen, uh, we get an opportunity to hear from our very own, our CMO, our Chief Ministry Officer, Minister Jimmy Wells Jr. Uh, there's so much I can say about him and his servant's heart, but uh, I really will uh, believe that you're about to be blessed. Uh, I really believe that the principles that are about to be shared are going to be life changing. I'm excited and I'm honored because God sends gifts to help you. And I'm just grateful to God that I recognize the gift that he is. KBB, family, friends, all of our Kingdom Covenant partners, you are about to be blessed. I'm telling you, grab your tablet, your notepad, sit back, relax. He is his own. He has his own unique personality and delivery. But you're going to be blessed. Uh, and, and I'm just grateful to God because God sent him here to help us lighten the load. And he's shouldering the responsibility with us in feeding the flock. So get ready to receive Minister Jimmy Wells Jr. as he come and prepare to bless us. Thank you so much. Let's go. Everybody that is here yes. in the sanctuary with us today. 
How many know it's, it's kind of weird only having three people, but how many know this is what we consider our new norm, amen? New norm. Amen, amen. We just thank God for, for my pastor. Um, our executive pastor, I always say, say this all the time, and I um, agree with him. How many know we have the best pastor on this side of heaven, amen? Amen. amen. Not only the pastor, Dr. Milton Wren, we thank God for Miss Dr. Lady Wren, the fragrance of the house. Amen. We thank how many know he can't make it, he can't do it without her. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We already know whatever he goes through, how many know she's there right with him. Yes. So we thank God for her. Yes. Uh, I just want to thank God for my wife, yes. my yes. baby mama, yes. my lover, my queen. Talk about it. The fragrance of my house. <laughs> Amen. I just want to thank God for her this morning. How many know she has been with me for many, many, many years? And how many know I'm probably the thorn in her back? All right. How many know that's okay? We're going to ride this thing to the wheel, fall off. <laughs> Amen. 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 I just want to give y'all a quick story. Pastor come texting me the other day. He's going to ask me, What you going to teach me? You going to. You want the, the hand set? You want the lapel? Or you want the one with the long coat? Now I said, now wait a minute now. <laughs> now last time I checked, when you get up there, you had a hand set on. Now if you try to shout tame me, give me all the little pair. I, I want to look good. I want to feel the palm too. Not important, but important. I want to feel the palm too. So I just thank God again for everybody that is tuning in. Uh, this morning on this Sunday morning. How many are ready for the word? Amen. Yes, amen. 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 We're going to be coming from Daniel's 3. Right. Daniel's 3. Uh, I'm going to be reading out of the uh, NIV version. I get to walk a lot now. If I get to walk a lot, y'all just, y'all just, y'all just, y'all just do me like this. All right. Okay. All right. The she, she tell me where to go. Okay. All right. You let me know now. That's Thank good. You. All right. She tell me I need to stand still quit all this movement. Right. Y'all gonna have to just pray for me. I don't know why I do all this move. But if I get out of hand, y'all see some thumbs up and some hearts there. So I'll send a bunch of them and say, Jimmy be still. Man, Jimmy be still. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Amen. We're gonna be coming from Daniel 3. I'm um, gonna be coming from the NIV. Um, just follow along with me. I'm gonna be doing a little skipping around. Having to know this is pretty long. I don't I don't wanna bore you, but we're gonna do a little reading this morning. Okay. <laughs> Again, going to come from Daniel 3, reading out the NIV version. <clears throat> King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold. All right. 60 cubits high yes. and 60 cubits wide. And set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, Nations and people of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the sounds of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyric, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of God that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. All right. Verse 6. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into the blazing furnace. Verse 8. At this time, some astrologists came forward, hope I said that right, and denounced the Jews. Uh -huh. Verse 9. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, May the king live forever. Verse 10. Your majesty has issued a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold. Verse 11. And that whoever does not fall down and worship you has set over the affairs. Let me go back. And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into the blazing furnace. Yes. Verse 12. But there are some Jews who have set over the affairs of the prophets of Babylon, Sadrach, Meshach, and as our pastor say, a bad Negro. 
<laughs> who pays no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your God nor worship the image of gold you have set up. Verse 13. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. <laughs> so these men were brought before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo, mm -hmm. that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold I have set up? Yes. Verse 15. Now, when you hear the sounds of the horn and all kinds of music, y'all see, I skipped over that little part. If you are already, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, then cool, very good. But if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. Then Y'all take a note of this. He's being smart. I keep never never call this up trying to get a little smart. Uh -huh. I need y'all to take a note of this. Then what God will be able to rescue you yeah. from my hand? Yeah. Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo replied to him. Now tell them these now, they they bold. They bold right here. I believe they hear him, him and G, they 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 got to be humble. They got to be real humble. Because this is what he tell them. King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. How many know they both? How many know how people always say, oh, they know the man. Yeah. They know the man. Yeah. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve, I don't know what God y'all serve, yeah. but the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from the from your majesty's hand. Mm -hmm. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, uh -huh. that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. And his attitude towards them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times harder than usual. The king's command, the king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flame of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Sadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. How many know that's some hot fire? Amen. Yes. And these three men firmly tied into the blazing furnace. 24. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his average, his average weren't there three men that were tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, wow. unbunded wow. and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the high God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo came out the fire. We almost done, y'all. Verse 27. And the Sashcraps, prefects, governors, and royal advisors crowded around them. Mm -hmm. They saw the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor a hair of their heads single. They robbed, their robes were not scored, yes. and, their, and there was no smell of fire on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, praise be to God. Now, wait a minute now. Now, all of a sudden, his whole <laughs> attitude changed. That's right. That's Nebuchadnezzar right. said, praise be to God. Oh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he had sent his angels and rescued his servants. They trusted in him 
and defied the king's commandment and were ready to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any God expect their own God. Therefore, I decree the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro be cut into pieces and their houses be turned into plows of rubber for no other God can save them. Yes. Something for the day. Don't bag down now. Keep that same energy. All right. All right. Don't yeah. bag right. down now. Keep that same, Keep that same right. energy. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> Kingdom negative. God is the one we should trust. We should never fear man. God is the one that we should trust. We should never fear man. How many know man is going to throw so many things at you? But how many know we shouldn't be afraid? Amen? That's right. Amen. It's crazy that we are now living in a world with some who will rather see you fail than see you succeed. Ooh, right, right. There are people who are sitting back waiting on us, on you to fail. Yeah. There are people who are waiting mm -hmm. on your demise. That's right. We are living in a world where people would rather put on the, would rather you we're, we are living in a world where people would rather you put them on this high pedestal mm -hmm. just because they bought or buy the newest pair of J's every week. <laughs> wow. We are living in a world where people would rather put put on Gucci uh -huh. and Prada right. along with their 45 on their hip then put on the full armor of God. Wow. Wow. Make it play. Make it play. We're living in a world where you get more likes on Facebook and Instagram okay. when you're twerking to walk or singing the baby lyrics <laughs> than you would when you post about the goodness of Jesus the Christ. Wow. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Principle number one. You can wear all the designer clothes uh -huh. and get millions of likes on social media. Uh -huh. But that will not get you into heaven. Wow. Man, make it plain. Make it plain. That will not get you into heaven. Get you in heaven. That's good. I don't care how many likes you get. Mm. How many know if you don't have the love of Jesus Christ in your heart? You're right. You're right. How many know that won't get you into heaven? We serve a God that's bigger than your life. Yes. We serve a God that's bigger than what you have on. Right. How many know that God can use a child? Mm -hmm. God can use yes, can. a man that's on the street that have nowhere to go. Right. Yes, and how many know God can use that man? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, how many know those people have pure hearts? That's right. And sometimes That's right. when we have all these designer clothes, how many know self will get in the way? That's right. Self will get in the way. God look at the heart. And that's what we have to be careful for. We don't want self to get in the way. Amen. That's right. That's good. That's good. There are more people who's mad because we didn't vote Donald Trump back into office. All right. Now y'all kind of stick with me now. Stick right. with me. Stick with me. Stick with me now. All right. It's gonna be a little tough. It's gonna be a little tough here. All right. There are more people who's mad because we no 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 because y'all didn't vote <laughs> President Trump back into office. All right. But reality is we should be just as mad with the with that same energy. Uh -huh. And the people who denounce Jesus the Christ wow. every day. Wow. Wow. 
we should have that same energy. Same energy. At people who denounce yes. Jesus the Christ yes. every yes. single day. Yes. Yes. We have so many people that are so worried about this president. Uh huh. You're right. And I and I, I honestly believe I know it's a distraction. It's a distraction yes, it to take our mind off the real reason That's why right. we here. That's right. Because That's Jesus good. the Christ. That's good. That's, That's right. where we should be focused That's on. That's right. But That's so right. many people are focused and mad. Mm -hmm. It's people at my job we ain't speak hard. Because all this stuff going on with the election. Yeah. And I tell people, I ain't people asking who I vote for. Well, to be honest with you, ain't the reason who I vote for. That's right. But let me be honest with you. I don't care who in office. Uh, I serve a God. Yes. We serve a God serve that's God. bigger and greater yes. than any president. Yes. How many know God about that? I voted for Jesus. That's right. That's who I voted for. Yeah, I, 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 I should have should have put Jesus all the way down on that on that back. You know what I should have put on there? Jesus. Who who? Republican, Jesus, yeah. Democrat, Jesus, <laughs> Senator, Jesus. I sit there put Jesus all the time there. How many know? Because that's what matters. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. My God, my God. Because God is who we are to be looking up to and trusting and not the current president nor the 2021 president elect. Right. We are living in a world where men will disrespect a woman and call her a B-I-T-C-H. And some women is so crazy, I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. Well, some women will scream. You better put the baddest in front of that. <laughs> wow. Ah, wow. My, 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 my. Wow. That's the world we're living in. Wow. We're living in a world where one, a woman will scream. First of all, if you're a man, you shouldn't even be using that kind of language. Yeah. You should never disrespect a woman you're right. like that. You're right. You're right. Because let me tell you something. Especially the men that got these daughters. Okay. If, when they start growing up, and they come home and say, Dad, the citizens call me a B-I-T-C-H. Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh. Don't get no attitude now because remember, yeah. you sold that seed. Wow. Yes. You hey, sold that same helpful. seed helpful. when you disrespect somebody else's daughter. How many know we should be and then for a woman to say it to yourself and say you better put the badges in front of it. How many know we living in a crazy world? Crazy. That is never okay. That's right. That's never, never okay. Never, Amen. Never, never. How many know we got a lot of work ahead of us? Right. Yes, sir. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Amen. Amen. Now. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, he had a disturbing dream. All right. I'm going to give you a little background. <clears throat> he had a disturbing dream. He wanted to know what it meant. Now, none of his wise men, we're going to just break it on down, none of his homeboys knew what it was. They can tell him what the dream meant. But there was one man that could. How many know who that was? There was Daniel. Daniel. Daniel knew what the dream meant. Because how many know God revealed to Daniel what the dream that he gave King Nebuchadnezzar? Yes. Now, Daniel explained that the materials represented a succession of kingdoms and they were all under God's control. Even though Babylon was the head of gold, its power would not last forever. All right. How many know there was a warning? There was a warning. There was a warning. All right. Apparently, King Nebuchadnezzar, I'm sorry, y'all, my watch was kind of, sorry about that. Um, it's kind of getting in the way a little bit. Um, apparently, King Nebuchadnezzar missed a point. He missed it. And created a gold image of himself. Yeah. There was 60 cubits high uh -huh. and 60 cubits wide. Now I ain't know, I ain't know how big that was. So tell somebody I thank God for Google. Because I had to Google what that how big this was. I mean, I can just imagine how big this was. So I had to go on Google and kind of figure it out how big it was. 
right. I'm just being real today. Y'all right. remember how big this was? Yeah. Uh, it was 98 feet tall. Ooh. That's 98 cool. feet tall yeah. and 300 feet wide. That's huge. That's big. That's big. And then he put it at the top. So basically, he wanted. So basically, when you break it, break it down, okay. ride it downtown, he put it at the top. So when you ride it, all you see is this image. Uh -huh. When they was coming into the city, when people come through, all they wanted to see, all the key never can ever want them to see was an image of him. Yeah. Proud. Yeah. Wow. He felt like he the man. Y'all need to see me. Yeah. And it set up on the plains of Dura in the province of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Again, basically, he put his statue up high on the mountains so everyone will see a gold image of him. That's right. Principle number two. Don't let the spirit of pride block your vision. Lord have mercy. We got to be careful, y'all. Right. Don't let the spirit of the spirit of pride block our vision. I know that goes for me too. Because how many know sometimes when God over the blessing us, better jobs, better cars, promotions, fame from the east, yes. fame from the yes. west, yes. from the north and south. Yes. When God over the blessing us, how many know sometimes the spirit of pride will get over us? Right. And we have to be careful. To not let the spirit of pride block our vision. Amen. That's right. That's King Nebuchadnezzar was a very proudful man. That's good. Basically, he thought he was all that. And like our pastor always say, he thought he was all that in a bag of sugar babies. <laughs> well, I don't know what no sugar babies is, and I ain't seen them yet. But how many know it sounds good? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all of us know someone or some people with a proudful, proudful attitude. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. You can't tell them anything without them getting offended or and it's all about self. It's all That's about right. them. That's Amen? Right. That's right. That's right. Not only did the king wanted the people to worship his God, he also wanted them to worship his image that he got made Amen. of gold. Yes. Uh -huh. So not only do you want people to bow down to you, but whatever these gods you done made up, you want us to bow down to them too. That's right. How that's, right. that's a powerful man. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely right. There are going to be people, supervisors, managers, etc., who think that we should worship or put them on this high pedestal just because of their title. All right. Let me All say right. that again for the person who's just walking back in the room and go get them a glass of milk. Okay. okay. There are going to be people, <laughs> supervisors, uh -huh. managers, etc., yeah. who think that we should worship or put them on this high pedestal just because of their title. Yeah. My God, my God. Principle number three. That's good. That's good. Don't get caught up in your title. Because how many know your title won't get you into heaven? Wait a minute, let me see. Oh, let me say it. Somebody get left out. Somebody left out and would have made them an egg sandwich. Let me say that again. Say that Don't again. get caught up in your title. Yes, sir. Because your title won't get you into heaven. How many know when you get to heaven, God don't care about your title? No, sir. Matter of fact, when you get there, God will call you just like what's on your birth certificate. He know he's going to call you back. Your title don't matter to God once you get to heaven. That's right. That's right. It don't even matter about your title yes. when you get to heaven. So don't get caught up by your title. Yeah. Don't get caught up by your title. Yes. God doesn't care about your title. No, he 
God is more pleased with the work that we put in. Yes. How many know God is more pleased with the work? Your title don't yes, mean sir. nothing if you ain't put no work in. That's right. You can have, you can be the, the oh, vice yeah. president, you can be the owner, you can be whoever you win with this big title. But how many know if you ain't putting no work in, God don't care about that. You can sit here and say that you say, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and everything is speaking the tongue. But if you ain't going out there, God, if you ain't going out there ministering yes, and spreading the gospel by Jesus Christ, how many know it don't matter about the knowing that you got within? Because your anointing ain't for you, it's for the people that's on our side. Yes, sir. Make it plain, man. Your anointing is not for you. That's right. When God anointed you, He didn't anoint you for yourself. No, sir. No, sir. My that's God, good. my that's God, good. my God. That's good. Because when we get to heaven, God won't refer to you by your earthly title. Mm -hmm. When we get to heaven, He's not going to refer you for your about your earthly title. As Christians, Christ-like, men and women, we are going to face many people who are going to look at your flaws just so they can say something. Amen. Yes, yes. And this is what they always say. See, they kill me with this. I knew you weren't a real Christian. Uh -huh. See, as soon as you mess up, yeah. now they can be just been on shot somebody, stab somebody, rob somebody, stole somebody's car, with a flat all three times, not four, they say you pay, you flat all four, you're sure they all bad, but they pay for it. But how many know they flat all three the time, they didn't did all this, all and as soon as you step up and mess around here and say with them, you mess around here and call me on a, on a good, good day, uh -huh. and I mess around here and sit up and say it with them, with them bad words. Uh -huh. Now, all of a sudden, I knew you weren't no Christian. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Now, you can just sit here and did all this. All of a sudden, I should have fucked and said a bad word. And probably so you probably did something make me mad. Uh -huh. Or you probably did something upset me. Now, all of a sudden, now I ain't no Christian. All right. Come on. Yeah, but how many know that's the world we live in? That's how people are. That's why we have to be careful what we do. Pastor say this all the time, y'all. And it's so important. We have to be aware at all times what we do. Because we never know who's watching. What it look like if Pastor Mr. Ryan here somewhere and he's somewhere, he he didn't he mess around sit up and say with a bad word in front of somebody. Now imagine, now we know Pastor, we know Pastor could have been there. We know that ain't him. We know Pastor don't do stuff like that. We know it's hard. We know the guy, we know what Pastor, we know what we do, what he do. But it all it takes that one person say, I need, I need to see there you go, they pre power to take a full money. Yeah. <laughs> Out that one little yeah. slip up, yeah. that one little slip up, people will blow it up yeah. as if you done went and killed and murdered somebody. That's right. yeah. But how many know that's the world we're living in? Yeah. That's how some, not all people, yeah. but that's how some people are. That's, right. that's why we as Christians, as men and women of God, especially if you're in leadership, we have to watch what we do, what we say, and where we at. As the preacher said last week, I can't go in the club. He said, I can't go in the club because I know me. I have to wait till they come out the club. How many know that's wisdom? That's wisdom. That's wisdom because he can be truly going in that ministry. But as soon as my good day, he goes. See, I knew he was yeah. doing all that preaching, yeah. but he in the club with me. Yeah, yeah. He could have been in that just to minister. That's right. But how many know? All it takes is that one person. One person. That one person. You know these cell phones. I'm saying we don't go lie. See, look, y'all, y'all see. There he go. See, oh, this kind of doing this kind of ministry. They got their keys to build the bomb hell. See, look, y'all look. They they hide. They 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 they, they still dancing. But they got their phone right here. They recorded him. But they still on that dancing, right? But they recorded him over. You know? Yeah. That's what they, that's the life. That's the world we live in. That's true, man. That's true. And we have to be careful that's true. what we do, where we at, at all times. Amen? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, just like the astrologers did Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo, uh -huh. they went looking as soon as they went looking as soon as they seen them not following the order, they ran to go take it. That's what we call these days dry snitching. <laughs> <laughs> we call that dry snitching. Dry snitching. But what they didn't realize 
is that they weren't trying to hide. All right, all right. So you got people lurking, That's good. looking. That's good. Ah, oh, he ain't doing such that she ain't doing such and such. But how many know we ain't always trying to hide? We want you to know that we ain't scared. We want you to know that we serve a God that's bigger than all these rules. Amen? That's right. I believe that when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego heard the decree, they wasn't worried at all. Because they knew that God they serve will protect and deliver them yeah. if they yeah. got caught. Yeah. Yes, if they got caught. Yeah. They knew yeah. that the God they served yeah. was going to deliver them. Yes, How many know that's faith? That's faith. Yeah. That's faith. When they went before the king, they simply told the king, you know what? You know what it is. Uh -huh. I believe they went to the king's street. Now, I heard, now we, we read what the Bible said. Yeah, yeah. We know. Make it plain. Make it plain. Let's make it plain. They put, all they said was, King, you know what it is. And we not finna, not finna to, finna. We not finna explain ourselves. <laughs> I believe they told that king straight like that. We ain't finna explain make, ourselves make to you. Plan. Plan. We ain't finna do it. We ain't finna do it. You know what it is, King. We ain't finna explain ourselves to you. Because we got a God that, whatever you do, we know we got a God that's going to deliver us anyway. Yes, sir. I will not compromise yes, because of what you decree. Yes. Because the God I serve is bigger than that. So guess what? Since I know, and I'm going to tell you something. We already know God and already see but the reason why you know what God can do uh -huh. because God had already done it before. Yes, so if he already did it then, he'll do it right now. So how many know we should feel because we already know what God did, did it, he'll do it again right now. Yes, uh, my, my, my. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Oh, my, 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 my. my. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep that same energy. Keep the same energy. Lord, I believe that God, He already did it for him. And He'll do it again. My God. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, y'all. My computer acting a little crazy. That's, terrible. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Now, here we go. Then the king calls himself trying to be smart to them. Okay. All right. This is what the king said. Mm -hmm. If you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace or a blazing fire. Amen? Amen. Then, here we go. Again, he called himself getting smart. Uh -huh. Now somebody say, keep that same energy, king. Same energy, king. Then, this is what the king said. Then, what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Yeah. Oh, how many know he bold? That's a bold fella right yeah. there. That's a bold fella. Yeah. Now, this is just like today's society. When Negroes who have a little authority uh -huh. will try and threaten you about your job right. if you do not if you do not do what they want you to do, All right. or even do something that's not comfortable, or doing or they want you to do something that's outside of your job title. Uh -huh. Principal, let's bring me to principle number four. Okay. okay. You might be able to take this job, uh -huh. but my salvation, you can't take it. Yeah. Talk, sir. You yes, might be sir. able to take this job for me. Yeah, yeah. But how many know this salvation that I have, you, can't take. you didn't give it, and you can't take it. You can have this job. Because again, the God that I serve, he gave me this. 
Just like he gave me this time, uh -huh. how many know he can give me another? How many know, know we scared? Yeah. We have to make sure that we stand for what we believe in. Yes. Amen? Yes. Said that me said in a bed and a, a bad Negro was firmly tied and was thrown into the blazing, the blazing furnace. Oh, but God. See, here's where it's interesting in. Then King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet with amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men the three? Yes. that tied up and thrown yes. into the fire? Yes. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, uh -huh. unburned, yes. unharmed, and the fourth one looks like the Son of God. Now, I think sometimes we miss that. And let me break it down for you. In order for it to be a fourth man, already in the fire, uh -huh. before they got in the fire, yeah. Yeah. not even the smartest man in the room, but I believe because they had so much faith and they had such a close relationship with God, yeah. God had already knew what was going to happen. So basically, what happened was God was already in the fire yes. before yes. they got in the fire, waiting on them to deliver them yes. out of the fire. Oh, wait a minute. I think somebody did that. Let me break that down. So basically, this is what God is saying. I see you I know what you're finna get ready to go into, and because I know it, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead of you. So when you get there, I'm already gonna be there to deliver you out of it. Basically, God is saying, "Why you trying to figure it out? I didn't already work it out. So why you worried? In spite of what you're going through, I'm already ahead of the game." I already see they finna try to set you up. Yeah. I already know they finna get ready to try to take, take your job. So when this don't close, God is saying, all I need you to do is walk on up the street a little bit because guess what? I already got another door already open that's waiting on you. Talk, sir. Basically, God Talk, sir. is saying, don't worry. Yes. I have already worked it out. Yes. I'm already ahead of the game. Yes. God was already in the fire. Yeah. All right. wait, wait, when they wait. threw them in the fire, I believe, and I know we watch some of these cars. So y'all ever see people with the power? They got uh, everybody watch the Fantastic Four, uh, and they and they got this. They, they got this. They put this big shield. Uh huh. Yeah. See, I believe that God, when they threw them in the fire, God had already had a shield in front of them. Yes. So even though I see the fire burning, yes. but it can't get close to you. Yes. I see how hot it is. But I've already got a shield in front of you, so you can't get burned. Right. How many know they said they came out the fire? Yes. Coals one burn. Yes. Yes. They smelled like what well, right? They coming out of there smelling like cool water. Cool. Yes. <laughs> they came out of the fire smelling again. Maybe I got one of their clones you like, Pastor? What are their clones? Chrome. How many know Pastor Ralph Chrome all the time? I believe they came out the fire smelling like crumbs. <laughs> smelling good. Good fragrance. Good fragrance. Untouched. Unbothered. Because God was already there to protect them. Yes, sir. God was God was that sin back way like, I know you're coming. I'm already here waiting on you. Let me break it down. God said, I got your back. All right. I got you. Yeah. I got your back. Yeah. Here's the kingdom shout, y'all. We're almost done. No need to worry. Because God is already there working in your favor. Yeah. All right, let me say that again. No need to worry. Because God is already there working in your favor. Yeah. Okay. Now, in verse 28, again, King Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to God. Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro uh -huh. who has sent his angels to rescue his servants. They trusted in him 
And the king commanded was willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god yeah. except their god. Yes. Oh, wait a minute now, king. Wait a minute, king. Is this the same king that said if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace? Yes. Then, now this is what he said, y'all. Then, uh -huh. what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Uh -huh. No, king, no, king. Don't back down now. Uh -huh. Keep that same energy. Because yeah. yeah. that ain't what you just said a few, a few scriptures back. That ain't what yeah. you said. Yeah. You said if you don't bow down to me, then who going to save you? Who going to save you? Amen. King, keep that same energy. That's just like people to this day. People would do all this big talking. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as things don't work out, as soon as God show up and show out and show you who He is, uh -huh. then now all of a sudden you got my back. Right. No, <laughs> keep that same energy. Same keep that same energy no, because God got a way yes. of showing you who He is. Oh. In spite of what you think, in spite of maybe oh, what you Mr. may look Jerry. like, yeah. how many know I believe even if you get the promotion before I get it, yeah. how many know I believe you just better keep that seat warm because if God said it, how many know that's it? Yes. God will show you just who he is. Yeah. God will come in and move you out the way yes. just to show you who he is. Who he is. Yeah. How many know we serve a God that has all power. Yes, he does. And how many know all God do is do one thing? Speak. Speak. It. speak it. All God got to do is speak it. How many know once you speak it, that settles it, whether you believe it or not, if God speak it, how many know that's it? That's it. That's it. And I just thank God for everybody, for everybody that is tuning in. I hope that somebody got something out the word today. Amen. I hope that somebody got the word today. Amen. I'm here to tell you about no matter what's going on, no matter what's going on, no matter how tough yeah. it may look like, yeah. how many know you, we just got to hold on and know that the God we serve is there and will be there to deliver us out. Amen, amen. I just want to thank God for everybody today. I'm done, I'm done. Wow. <laughs> what a word. That was a kingdom experience. My God, I'm grateful to God for the gifts that he placed in the body of Christ, especially here at Kingdom Builders, that give us an opportunity. It's an honor for me to steward those gifts. Uh, and I'm grateful to God for every person that's connected to this ministry. If you were blessed by the word, it is my prayer that that word charged you that it challenged you and more importantly that word changed you I, I don't know who you are but i would like to help you get to know christ if that's you you say pastor Ian, i don't know jesus christ as my lord and savior uh I, i've never confessed him or i remember being saved years ago uh but i don't have a personal relationship i'm not growing i don't see the signs of a matured faith if that's you Right where you, I want you to repeat after me, and we're going to lead you in this. Come on, say this with me, Lord. Say it with me. I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Come on, say this. I believe that he was hung up for my hangups. He paid a price he didn't owe because of a debt I could not afford to pay. I believe that he hung, he bled, and he died. I believe that they put him in the tomb, but three days later, he got up with all power in his hands. Come on, say this with me. Lord, come into my heart. Change my mind. Change my heart so that I may love like you want me to love and I may live a life that's pleasing to you. My friend, my brother, my sister, if you prayed that prayer, I believe upon the confession of your faith that you are saved and we welcome you into the family of God. Now, the next step is for you to find a local church. That's right, a Bible teaching, Bible preaching church that's going to help you mature in your faith and allow you to grow in grace. If you prayed that prayer, we'd love to connect with you here at Kingdom Builders. 
Information is on the screen. Ways to connect. Uh, go to triple W Kingdom Builders Birmingham dot com. Certainly you can connect with us on social media, uh, all of the social media platforms and outlets. That information is right there for you at the bottom of the screen. You can text us. That's right. Text 205-862-8970. Or you can call somebody standing by right now to take your call. 205-862-8970. Right before we go, if you were blessed, if, if this ministry adds value to you and you want to sow into the kingdom here at KBB, I'm going to ask you now. The information is on the screen. We have four ways to give. You can do it through Givelify, search Kingdom Builders. You can do it through Cash App, Cash Tag, Kingdom Builders Beham. Or you can do one of my favorites, that's text to give. Text KBMG to 54244. Or you can mail your contributions in to P.O. Box 320-818. That's Birmingham, Alabama, 35232. Uh, listen, I was I was blessed. I pray you were blessed. Thank you for allowing us to be able to share this kingdom experience with you. Now, take what you've heard, apply it to your life and let's go build the kingdom. Until next time, I'm Pastor Milton Wren Jr. And let's build the kingdom one person at a time. Let's build. You might be crying. You might be crying. You might be worrying. You might be worried and frustrated too. Let me encourage you. Let me encourage you. Let me speak. Let me speak loud.